komiserimiz Etos için afiyet istiyorum arkadaşlar. Ülkemiz uzaylılar tarafından istila edildi. Dünyanın birçok farklı bölgelerinden alınan bilgiye göre yoğun bir ışık demetinin görüldü ve sonik patlamaların buna eşlik ettiği bize ulaşan bilgiler arasında yer alıyor. Haber ayrıntıları birazdan.
least, that's what this team is hoping. Disguised as a mild-mannered BMW, Antimon the Transformer has been trucked across five countries for this, his world debut. Terrible. But preparations are not going well. The car batteries has been down, and we don't know which one is down. Four batteries feed this beast, and with no testing equipment on site to determine the culprit, they'd better replace them all just to be sure. It's taken this group of Turkish engineers nearly a year to get here. Held in Abu Dhabi, it's called Big Boys Toys. A show highlighting the hottest tech to be seen by some of the richest buyers in the world. Antamon's price tag certainly earns him a place here. It has lots of zeros in it. Because this Autobot is one of a kind. You find a basic price as 600,000 US dollars. The engine's been yanked out to make room for the hydraulics that muscle his rise. 1.5 tons. Antamon's head turns 120 degrees. He's got moving arms, kinetic fingers, wrist action, parking sensors to halt him in case a human comes near, and remotely operated steering when back as his alter ego. If Antimon rises to the challenge today, he stands to lead an army in the future. After scrambling to find replacement batteries overnight, in five or six hours, and we uh, repair it, fix it, and now Antimon in show stage. Finally, he's alive. About twice as tall as Shaq, he hasn't yet learned to walk. Still, pretty amazing for everyone. So what's next? We want to add walking ability to Antimon. Also, we want to make it drivable. For now, a victory of human over machine. Now we are so happy. Decepticons, beware.